Oldham looked like a team that had lost just once in eight games. In the first half, they carried a zip to their attacking play that was too much for Bradford. On loan, Luke Beckett set up Richard Butcher, who struck his first league goal for the Latics. No wonder he wanted to announce his name. It was beautifully placed on eight minutes. Inside another five, and the roles were reversed. Little provided the pace. Butcher powered in for another chance. It was the sharpness of Beckett who prodded Oldham second. Ronnie Moore declared the half Oldham's best passing show of the season. Bradford did have their moments, though. Danny Kadamatri was a shining example amongst his colleagues. This strike may have made things interesting before half-time. In fact, Bradford were back in the game prior to the break. Guy Branston tugged at David Weatherall, who it has to be said made the most of the contact. It didn't matter to referee Carl Boyson, and the Yorkshire side had their opportunity. Dean Windass doesn't usually waste them, but his 160th league goal was all the Bantams managed. They'll hope Walsall provide more fruitful opponents tonight. Things started to go out of win. In fact, they haven't won away from home since August. Many of the visiting fans called for manager Gary Megson to be sacked. Goals from that game on the way later this hour. And Doncaster won just once away from the city ground all season. It conceded a second to Richard Butcher as Oldham headed to only their second win in seven. Lou Beckett added a third late on as Oldham sealed a comfortable win, prompting some of Forest fans to a champ for the sacking of manager Megson. Bridge on seven games without a win. In fact, they haven't won away from home. Since Oldham was the final straw, makes an out chance were heard from the Forest travelling fans during the 3 0 defeat. Forest have won just once away from the city ground all season, and that was last August. The Oldham defeat leaves them just four points away from the League One relegation zone. Well, there'll be a board meeting this evening to discuss a short term successor to Megson. Very disappointing, bad news. It's the last game against Old and lost 3 0, didn't they? Which was the, the final straw, really. Richie Wellens, Richard Butcher, and Luke Beckett, the goal scorers. And, you know, as much as he tried, he couldn't reverse the pattern, could he? Well, once you go on that run, especially at Forest, because they're, they're, a, they're a target for everyone. They're a big club and, and everyone wants to beat them, but uh, it's, it's a major disappointment to hear that about Gary. It's a big job, as you say. It's a big job for someone. To Ignoring the wooden Richard Butcher in the ninth. <laughs> scored in Brentford 3 1 up against Barnsley, and Lloyd Owusu has got the second goal. Seven without a win for Colchester, who've now lost their last five in all competitions. They did create an excellent opportunity to go ahead at Boundary Park. Neil Dan's shot coming back off the bar. All the game's drama came in the final three minutes. First, the visitors were reduced to 10 men when Kamal Izzet was sent off. Is its lunge on Richie Wellens, earning him a second yellow card from referee Clive Oliver. No complaints from Is it, who was clearly late with the challenge. With the game entering the 90th minute, Oldham scored the only goal. Ricky Butcher sidestepped two challenges on the edge of the area before beating Aiden Davidson. An excellent result for the Latics, who are now just three points behind the U's, who occupy the last playoff spot. This is to breathe new life into their playoff campaign, while the Bradford manager Colin Todd admitted he got the tactics wrong after this game. A fumble from keeper Donovan Ricketts presented Paul Warren with Oldham's opener. Richard Butcher with the initial shot, Warren nipping in for his tenth goal of the season. It got worse for the home side. Richie Wellen split the defence wide open. Luke Beckett raced through to give Oldham an early two-goal cushion. Beckett could hardly contain his delight, his 10th goal of a season-long loan from Sheffield United. Bradford were in serious disarray by now, another shrewd cutback from Wellens, and Richard Butcher piled on more misery for the Bantams. 
His fifth goal of the season was effectively game over for Bradford City. Colin Todd's outfit at last roused themselves in the second half. Lone signing Aaron Wilbraham headed in to mark his home debut. Colin Todd admitted afterwards that with just one win in eight, they're now facing a relegation dogfight. To round off a thoroughly miserable afternoon for the home side, a mistake from Bradford's Darren Holloway allowed Luke Beckett in for Oldham's fourth goal. Manager Ronnie Moore delighted with his side's performance after a disappointed defeat at Rotherham last weekend. Bradford plunging deeper into trouble at the wrong end of the table. Nottingham Forest by challenge. Richie Wellens, midfield. Terrell Fulf, sea legs. Contract center off. Goalkeeper. Little Beckett striker. <laughs> Gareth Owen, Ocean Warrior, aka Centre Arse. Richard Butcher midfield. Will Hina, defender. Good stuff, Helen and guests have just